then we look at, let me see. Yeah, I've still. Let's look at the Casco amplifier. Okay. Uh, common source has a very large Mueller cap. Again, what is Mueller cap in common source? We just discussed. I say it has a large Mueller effect. What happened? The CGD got amplified, right? Becomes the input pole because it becomes CGD times one plus GMLD, right? I have a Cusco amplifier here. It has a CGD also. Does it has a high Mueller cap, right? Looks very similar to what we see in the common source, right? So then, the first sign is that I think we might have, we might have this problem. So I decided to do this. I need to do the Mueller cap anyway. So I'm going to put it as CGD one times one minus one over A, right? I'm just using the regular uh, procedure one minus a is this okay but now the problem is what is a what is a the a was very simple for us in the common source amplifier we say the a is just the gain from x to v out right which is gmld but let's recall, what is the meaning of A when we derive the Mueller cap equation, the Mueller theorem? We say that if I have a capacitor going from this node to this node, and we call it V out. But maybe I want to use Japanese, call it something, I don't know, what is that? Or French, it's not V out. I want to call it Vx or whatever. This is just a name, right? The important thing is what? The gain is between the two terminals of the capacitor. That's how we derive this equation. When the gain between these two terminals is negative A0, then this is CF times 1 plus A0, because it's negative, right? 1 minus negative A0. So this A should be what, which gain that we're talking about, which voltage divided by which voltage when we want to apply Mueller cap to this capacitor? Excellent, yeah. Do you agree with him? It should be Vy over Vx. Same here, actually. If you look at the common source with degeneration, I mean common source, I try to find the gain, right, of this one. I was talking about CDG, which is this node and this node. It turned out this node is V out and this node is V in. It just happened that it is V out divided by V in. Then I say, okay, it's just the gain of the common source amplifier. But now the A here is Vy divided by Vx, right? Not V out divided by Vx or we in right so what we need to find is we y divided by vx okay so when we try to find the gain of course we ignore the capacitor because we use the mid band right then what is the gain from vx to vy well if you look at this one to here what type of amplifier is this from vx to vy what type of amplifier is this? Common source, very good. Common source. Vx to Vy is just a common source. So the gain equal to negative Gm Rd parallel R0. Okay? The question is, what is Rd? What is the RD for this common source? It means you look up what is the impedance that you have. Huh? Very good. Yeah, you guys did study. This is 1 over GM2, right? Why this is 1 over GM2? 
Because I'm looking into the source, this is constantly biased. So this is the input impedance of a common gate amplifier you have in your cheat sheet already. And I remind you a lot of time, it's not 1 over GM2 plus RL, right? It is 1 over GM2, that's it. If you don't have channel length modulation of your RL is very large, it's another equation, it's RL plus RO divided by 1 plus GM RO, right? But let's assume RL is small enough. So this one is negative, I should put 1, G negative GM1 times 1 over GM2. I ignore the channel length modulation. If I don't ignore it, 1 over GM2 is small, right? Small parallel RO must be small. This is about what? Negative 1. Because you bias it so that GM1 and GM2 should be similar. Because GM1, GM2 depends on the current, depends on the gate overdrive. For this, the same setup, they cannot be different too much. Okay? So then what is the Mueller cap? Right? It is CGD1 times 1 minus A equal to CGD1 times 1 minus negative 1 equal to 2CGD1. So it only increased by 2 times. It becomes 2 times instead of 10 times. So we say that it suffered less not as big as the CGS. So now that is another reason to use Casco. The reason we use Casco because you have higher gain, right? Larger output impedance, right? The gain is like GMR square. And now you also find that the first pole, at least the input pole, is small. You don't suffer from Mueller cap. Okay. Any questions? So let's do the final exercise before I go to uh, review the midterm solution. Is this one. Uh, we want to uh, find the, po uh, the poles uh, and, and also the uh, capacitor, right? So again, let's just repeat. I'm going to grind it. This is the first step, right? Ground or independent source. Ground AC, this is also independent source. I ground all of them. I have two transistors, so I'm going to have eight capacitor. I already have CGD1. What is this? CDB1, thank you. This one, C S. B1 and then C G S1. C G S1. That would be better. Okay. Similarly, I need to do this on the top. I have C, D, B, 2. This is NMOS, right? Same note. C, S, B. Now, this is something I mentioned earlier. I assume the body is grounded. It's also possible you want to just connect the body to the source. So in, then in that case, this one can be ignored. Yeah, I still have two, yes. Right, but, but I just want to talk about this, right? I, I assume that in our class, I ground all the body. But from layout perspective, later in lab eight, you kind of will do a little bit layout. You will find that I actually would rather connect it to the source to save area. But then the transistor performance will be different. Okay?
This is C, G, D2. And I still have this one. C, G, S2. Okay, so let's try to simplify the circuit. What, which one can be eliminated? CSB1, because both sides are grounded. Everyone okay with this? Uh, what else? I don't see much, and good. We can do parallel, right? So let's see what we can do for parallel. How about go from the top? I have C, D, B2, right? Which one is parallel with it? C, G, D2. Yeah, because uh, this is grounded and they have the same terminal, right? Okay, so I think that's it for the top, right? How about the middle? Which one is, uh, I want to do C, B, C, D, B, 1. So which one is parallel to it? C, S, B, 2. So this is gone. And then C, G, S, 2. So this is also gone. But I have one more. Or maybe not one more. Let's do it later. Yeah, so that's it, right? But I still have one more capacitor I need to deal with. What is that? The mirror effect, right? So I want to get rid of this guy. CGD1, right? So this becomes CGD1 times what? 1 minus A, right? Which is, if you, you probably forgot, G... 1 minus 1 over A, very good. 1 minus 1 over A. So it is GM2 divided by GM1 because A is GM1 divided by GM2, which is approximately equal to 2GD, CGD1, right? And here, what is this? It is CGD1 times 1 plus GM1 divided by GM2, okay? So I don't think those people who don't watch the video or come to the class know what I'm doing here, right? The first thing, purple. The second thing, green. Right. The third, blue. And finally, you do Mueller for the, I don't know what color is this. You think yellow? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I won't take off point <laughs> from your file. Okay, so I hope that you see this, right? So this now you cannot see if you don't watch it, right? But you know the skill now, right? So with this, then we have all the uh, capacitors. And then we can find the pole. Right? So it's a little bit messy to find the pole. So let's just go directly to the answer. This is from the test book. Okay. So just recall CGD2 plus CDB1, uh, CGD2 plus CDB2, CGD2, right? I only have two. Here I have a loss CGS1, CGD1 amplifies CDB1, CSB2, right? CSB2, C, right? Just trust me, they should be correct. This, this one may be confusing. Let me erase it. Yeah, so this is one. Okay, so what are the poles? So I have three poles. Just remember, we find all the capacitor. Then the next thing is to go through the signal path, right? And then we have X, Y, and also the output. X is here, Y is here, output is here. So I have three poles. The first pole, I need to grant V in, of course. Then the resistor bringing me to the ground is only RS. Then multiply by this whole thing, right? And then for Y, 
the resistor bringing me to the ground, you already solved the problem earlier. Looking up is 1 over GM2, right? Looking down here, I obviously ignore the channel length modulation, right? So looking down is infinity, and then you just put the whole thing. And then here, looking up is RD, and looking down, again, I don't have channel length modulation, right? So I hope that you are so good now. Um, this is two terminal. Looking up is one over GM. Looking down is infinity. You understand why, right? This is small signal. This is a transistor. It's not a resistor. RL and then plus this whole thing, right? Some some typo. I don't know why. Uh, it was good originally. Um, yeah, then you have three poles. But the most important thing is the input pole is not one plus GMRD, it's just only two times G C G D one. Right? So you find the three poles of them. Any questions? If no, then let me spend some time to go over the uh, midterm solution. I have not graded yet, so it's possible I make some mistake. Usually when I grade, I realize that you did